Good morning, you wonderful people. It's now, what's almost, what's the time here this morning? It's now 5.28 in the morning. I thought I just want to say something to all the people out there and just to encourage them and say, listen, God loves you. You know, and uh, some couple of things in my heart this morning and as I was praying, you know, understanding grace and mercy. You know, we are, we've been blessed with so much grace and so much mercy. It's not of our of ourselves that we should boast, but it's about the free gift of grace that we've been given. So I think many people out there is in condemnation. They they struggle to receive the gift and they never feel good enough. Um, I think that's one of the things that, you know, uh, Satan and many people is holding over other people's, you know, lives and over their heads, man. You know, so um, they are really trying to put people in bondage and... and uh, and sort of like hold them away from the true potential in Christ. Christ didn't come to condemn the world. He, come, he came to set the world free and made the world free, you know, through His grace. Um, I think we still want to make ourselves free. We want to make other people free. Or, and God says, no, don't do that. I've already done it for them. You know, like people got this Messiah syndrome that we're going to save the world and we're going to... You know, change the world. Jesus already came and already changed the world for us and through us as well. You know, so I just want to say to people, you know what, um, a lot of people struggle with various uh, habits or addictions and, and it makes them not feeling worthy in, in so many in so many ways and and uh, they feel they're never going to overcome. But the Bible says, you know what, you are, you are more than an overcomer. You are more than an overcomer. You know, Christ made you free from this body of sin and death and made you alive in Christ. So I want to tell you, don't give up. You know, stand strong um, in the power of His might, not yours, you know. Um, you know, how many times do we fight ourselves, but Christ will never fight us. I love what it says in Timothy. You know, when we are faithless, He is still faithful because He cannot deny Himself. So I want to encourage those people out there this, this morning and I want to say to you, God loves you. You know, God wants the best for you. Um, you know, His grace is sufficient. It doesn't feel like it. It feels like, wow, Lord, what grace. I feel like in a pit. I feel like, Lord, uh, where, where can I go? Um, what can I do? And, and you, you don't feel you're going to make it, but it's not the truth. It's not the truth. Christ in you has already made it. You know, you believe in your heart, and you know Jesus is your Lord. And, and that's a good, that's the best ever. So don't go and try... Um, you know, do it in your own strength and uh, make yourself laws. You know, like the Bible had many laws and God came and He says He came to, not to abolish law, but fulfill it. He fulfilled every requirements that was there. So don't go and make your own requirements and your own laws now. This week I am never going to do this again or anything like that. Rely on His grace. Lord, I depend on Your grace, Your mercy, Lord, that they have already overcome this thing. Or, you know, it could be a financial issue, it could be a relationship issue. But just hold on by the strength and the might and of His power. You know, um, I love it. You know, so I love that scripture in Galatians 2.20. It's no longer I that liveth, but Christ that lives inside of me. And I live now by the, Christ, by the faith of the Son of God. You know, His faith and He's living in you and through you. Just know that. Hold on to that. Hold on to that. Because you'll never fail. He will never fail. He might feel like he's late sometimes, but he will never fail. You. He's a good God. And, you know, like I always say to my people in the church, and you know, um, when it's going bad, God is good. Uh, when it's going difficult, God is good. When it's going better than expected, God is good. You know, when your body's not feeling good, God is still good. You know, when you have no money, God is still good. When you have a lot of money, God is still good. You know, God's whole nature is just good. You know, um, I like what Honor Rape said. He said something very, very beautiful. He says, you know what? You look at the Old Testament and, and always, God was always so angry and furious. But why? He says, um, you know, because they interfered with His love. You know, but His anger is but a moment, but His mercies and love endures forever, endures forever. So you cannot compare God's uh, anger to His love. There's no comparison. But ultimately, Christ came to fulfill that completeness you know, so God is not angry at man anymore. You know, Romans 5 talks about now we have peace with the Father through, our, through, our, through the Son, 
Lord Jesus Christ. So we have peace now. You know, God does not hate you. God doesn't want to punish you. God just want to love upon you. That's all He wants to do. Know that. It doesn't feel like it sometimes. Sometimes you feel like you're letting God down, but it's not the truth. God loves you. You know, God cares for you. There's nothing that you cannot do that He cannot love you. I said to people, you cannot be good enough to make it. You cannot be bad enough to make it. You just make it because of Christ, the Holy One. You know, that's Him. For in Him we live and move and have our being. You know, it's by His grace you are saved through faith. Not of your own works, you know, or self-effort, you know, you could actually save yourself. Your faith didn't even save you. His faith saved you, you know. So what can you do? Just surrender to Him. Just surrender. My Father, I surrender to You. I surrender my life to You. I surrender my, my finance, my relation. I surrender to You. Surrender is such a powerful thing. You know, it's a very, very powerful thing. It's not a copping out thing. It's just like, you know, that's power. So Lord, I cannot do this. I need Your grace. I need Your mercy. I need Your strength. And when you, when, like Paul says, when I'm weak, You are strong. When you recognize that, you know, Lord, I'm weak. I need your grace. I need to, and then strength will rise up, and then new vision will come, new inspiration will come, you know, to fill you up into a new level in Christ, you know. So yes, go out there, people, and have a good day, have a blessed day, uh, knowing that God loves you. God's got your back, man. Just chill. He's got your back. He has your back more than ever before in Jesus' name. So don't let people condemn you. Don't don't feel worthless. Okay. And God has a destiny for you and you are valuable in His sight. You're extremely valuable in your sight. I don't care what people think. I don't care what you even think about yourself. But what God thinks is important. God says you are, you are holy. You are blameless. You are spotless. God sees you as, man, you're just the best thing out there. You know, He thinks you are, man, the bee's knees. His thoughts are filled with just good things towards you. You know, no, no bad, nothing. So guys, I want to bless you. This is Pastor Johan Mankis from Zoe Ministries. So I want to say, guys, bless you. May the grace of God just surround you and just guide you by His Spirit. You know, love the Holy Spirit, man. Let, make Him your friend more than ever before. Holy Spirit's not a it. It's not a fluffy cloud. He's a person. He's a beautiful person. You know, our Paracletos, the one that walks beside us, is actually closer than a brother. He's in you. He's upon you. And, you know, so guys, be blessed. And I hope you can see you guys soon again here at Zoe Ministries. You want to visit our website at zoeministries.co.za. So guys, bless you and see you guys soon again in Jesus' name. Amen.